Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Yuck, 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 everybody! Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All, and we're going to be, uh... Well, this is, this is the trial is basically going to be a freaking circus. No, <laughs> quite literally, because it's turned I about. I forgot we're on the trial period. Yeah, I like the investigation more than trial, which I think I you're don't in know. the minority there. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure, but yeah. you know why? I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I'm just watching it all play that, out. That's true. All right. Well, we're on the trial, so yeah. In case if you're wondering, Artie is actually the one playing the game, not me. <laughs> This is going to be the craziest trial yet. <laughs> okay. I'm curious. December 29th. Oh, yeah, we have Karma. 9.43 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number 5. Hey, Max. Put on Good a morning, shirt. Max. Can you at least put on a tank top? Can you... An undershirt even would be nice. I think that's allowed in court. Max? M milk. What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage... I just can't function, sweetie. Stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick, Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties! What? You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know... You've got to make a good first impression. Don't fly. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm the crowd up a little. No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? <laughs> Phoenix Wright. <laughs> 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 I can see it now, the dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. Honestly, I would do it just because Von Karma will be like, Hello, I am perfect. <laughs> so we might as well. Max, really? No one needs you to fly today. No one needs to fly today. No one needs to fly today. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying <laughs> fabulously. <laughs> Oh, also, I don't think I mentioned this. This takes place after b both the second and the first case. Yeah. Okay. It does. Just so everybody knows, the timeline, we are back to chronological order. Okay. Oh, no. This is going to end terribly. <laughs> <laughs> December 29th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. All right. Avon Karma, what's up? And uh, now the case of one. What? Your Honor, get on with it. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Johns. So... Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan <laughs> of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Oh, no! Um, this dude's gonna fall! <laughs> I wonder if that is to our advantage. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Eh? The spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its le legitimacy. It did not count. Do you hear me? This music fits perfectly with Von Karma, I think. <laughs> Yeah. She must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not <laughs> losing this case. <laughs> Zero. Zilch. Noodle. <laughs> Noodle. <laughs> Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Snap, Maya! Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for prov or proving how absolutely guilty you are. M -m -m me Guilty? What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. 
Oh great, he's gonna try and she's gonna try and put, put pin it on us. <laughs> How? <laughs> Wait, no, we would we weren't even there, so it wouldn't work. No. <laughs> Dad's gone, you know. The prosecution is finished. Let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there now. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. That was uncalled for. Yeah. Don't mention it! It's no trouble at all! I've been looking forward to this. You've been looking forward to a murder trial? <laughs> Very well, I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. Alright, Detective. You may proceed with your testimony. I love how everyone still calls Miss Von Karma sir. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Details of the events. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All of the circus performers gathered in the Big Top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house here at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Of course, blunt force. <laughs> I see. He was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. The court accepts this into evidence. Autopsy report added oh, to the Oh, you still have the monkey, I forgot. Yeah, money the monkey! A blunt object. Hmm, actually... I want to see. Time of death, 10.15pm, caused blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Okay. Oddly close to So, if room. you're ever playing Mad Libs, kids... Blunt force trauma is a great noun. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, then. <laughs> okay, the, the, the whole defense attorney and the prosecutor glare at each other, Fane. Von Karpus doesn't look like she's great, it looks like she's more like, Whatever. I'm so gonna win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's great. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 10.40 p.m. Hold it! Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. That's... That's like nothing! They don't live here in Michigan, where it's like, Oh, we got three feet of snow. It's not like school's canceled or anything. Yeah, no, no, you still have to Literally! <laughs> you have to drive through all this stupid snow. It's... Ugh. It's terrible. So bad. And there's road salt everywhere, and it wonder, makes your car yeah. dirty. I wonder how snowy it is in other countries. Japan is really snowy, though. Like, there's a lot of snow in Japan, so I'm really surprised they're like, one inch, it's a blizzard. Whatever. That's more like, it's a blizzard in Georgia. <laughs> Georgia don't have blizzards. Georgia, if It's they, like, oh no, you I like gonna, one snowflake, happen. shut down the whole state. Yeah, because no one knows how to clean up snow. <laughs> well, because they don't have the same trails that we have. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow. Let me see. There's gotta be more to this. Huh? What's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? They were hanging out. All the circus performers were listening to most terrible jokes. You mean hilarious jokes! <laughs> when you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Regina the Animal Tamer, Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist, and of course the defendant Maximilian Galactica, and his victim the Ringmaster. So, what's his face the acro was not there? What's his face the acrobat, yes. Well, it's a pretty Acro the acrobat. acrobat. Yeah, acro his name acrobat. is acro. Oh. <laughs> really, Never mind. Really dumb name. That is dumb. Oh, anyway, so I he almost... wasn't there. And then there That's were apparently true. dancers. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch! <laughs> wow! Because <laughs> he remembers, wow, there's yeah. an extremely Please cheap knockoff that. wristwatch yeah. here. <laughs> Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. Broke up around 10 p.m. But... Oh no, it, it was 10.15. 10.15 was when it happened. Okay. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Cafeteria? Regina was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Ben the Ventriloquist went to the front gate absorbed in his own world. The Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. 
Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. Also, Mo being <laughs> tired is also awfully suspicious. It, that was late at night, it's and he had a night. long okay. session, so... Sure. I, and we don't he know what he looks like. He slipped on a banana peel like. a thousand yeah. times. We don't know what it looks like afterwards, though, because I feel like he has his pajamas out on bed, but he, like, constantly has his energy up, from what it seems. I don't know. Eh. Seems like, oh, we you know, like... Day. Yeah, I don't know. We also haven't seen him that late at night. We haven't. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. <laughs> so I want to draw attention to that. It's like, okay, so like, earlier that day, Max, like, broke a bottle over Ben's head. Remaster's yeah. like, hey, Max, we need to talk, like... Seriously, you you would beat up one of my employees like that's like a serious crime, and he's like, "Oh, can I marry your, your daughter? daughter?" Oh yeah, sure. God, sure. That's, that that's makes super sense. Weird. I think there's something up with that completely. You still have the fear where you're like, he didn't meet the ringmaster. He met with Mo, who's dressed as the ringmaster. Yeah, something like that. Wow. Okay. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10:15 p.m. Uh. Um. Okay. Not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us the whole how the whole thing went down. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm. All right. We'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The victim was found bent over a wooden box. I wonder if the wooden box is significant. A wooden box? I think we're about to find out about that. That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? Hmm. It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Wooden box added to the court record. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. About the wooden box, about the lock, about the contents. Probably we should ask about the contents. But yeah, let's do all of these, because mm -hmm. I think they all give us information. They all give us information, okay. This wooden box, you figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? 20 pounds? Sounds about right. It's the whole like thing is lined with plate. iron. Iron plating? Why do you think it's lined with iron? I figured they just did it to make the box heavier. Youch! I think we could all do without your guesses, Mr. Detective. Stick with to what would... <laughs> I can't talk. Stick to what little you actually know. Sorry. Suffice it to say, the box is really heavy. Much better. You may continue on, Detective. All right. Yeah, we have to locked. do the contents. You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? Well, it had quite a sturdy lock on it. It took quite a bit to open that bad boy up. So, when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Yes, it was. Some of the forensics team took it back to the precinct to crack it open. I see. Continue, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, contents. They'll be like, oh, there was a thumping in there, there was a, a nose in there. Not like an actual nose, but like the honky honky nose. <laughs> Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than, a Fort, than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Bottle? What is that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box? I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Yeah, you're probably confused about that. <laughs> Small seasoning bottle later. added to the court record. Maybe all I could think of was smelling salts. But I can't, um, that bottle. It has pepper in it. Maybe it made, uh, th this is completely ridiculous. Maybe they, like, put it on Mo. He sneezed, slipped on a banana peel, and then, like, <laughs> caused all of this chaos. I don't know. <laughs> and they're like, we gotta get this out of here if he right. does that again. <laughs> right, maybe that happens. <laughs> all right, good theory. <laughs> But it could be like, oh, this was something super important. This was like my daughter's special pepper that she uses to control the <laughs> My lion. dad's favorite pepper, pepper shaker. shaker. <laughs> <laughs> According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. You told us that earlier. 
And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, no, no! I bet he made it disappear with magic! Ho, ho, ho! Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Now that we have wrapped up the, with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Oh boy, my voice is gonna die. <laughs> I'm not even off the stand yet! Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a bit se I'm a sensitive guy. I thought she was gonna whip him. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may now step down. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Oh. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. Dude, for real, if your voice starts hurting. Alright, I might okay. I might give I can I can try it. I'll just probably sound like Mickey Mouse. I wonder if Trilo will show up on the stand as well. I mean, I already made him sound like Mickey Mouse. Trilo. Trilo. <laughs> That animation always cracks me up. Please state your name and occupation for the record. My full name is Trilo Quist! I'm employed as an opera tenor! Uh, excuse me! The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That rule must be cutting off your circulation! I said that I was a singer! Maybe you don't believe me! Fine, I'll grace you with a sob. <clears throat> me, 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 me! The world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence, decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? It had a good rhyme. A rhythm. It's, you know. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. To Trilo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose! You think you'd have the sense to fix it! It's so ugly, I just want to punch you in the face on this chill chance swelling would help! You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star! Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes in their minds. What's going on here? Order! Order! I demand to know who this witness is! Don't... don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trio handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting testimony- OUCH! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed! Oh boy. <laughs> witness testimony, what you witnessed. <laughs> Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge! I mean, clown! Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went over to the plaza pool! Ha <laughs> ha, gosh! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime! He was the only one heading that way! How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away! You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You're sure of that? Without a doubt! He had on a silk hat cloak and the dumb white roses on his chest! How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? Th that's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy! Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the criminal. Why's that? Here's absolute proof. Uh, silk hat? This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Ah. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Unless if, you know, he stole the hat, <laughs> and stole ro bought roses, <laughs> and threw on a coat and was like, Oh boy! <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Hmm. The way that I would say... Well I'm done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Okay, I guess she's the boss again today. Great. What you witnessed, starring the, the dummy. He, he, I left the tent with the stooge. The stooge. Which one, Larry Moe or Curly? The clown, you're talking about Mo. Of course I'm talking about that old fart! He's so pathetic, I can't stand him! 
Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place! Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of the way to killing over for good. Um, there's one big problem. This dude was, um, wait. Mr. Puppet was gone. Hmm? The puppet was gone. No, that's actually, that's like a pothole kind of. Oh. Where, like, they went off with him at this point, Trilo was still there. Okay. And then between, th after he saw them, between that time and the time Max was arrested, he must have stolen Trilo and... Oh yeah, before he was arrested. Okay. Okay. It, the timeline's a little weird there, and that's okay, one that of the few plot holes I was like, in the game, huh, kind of. I thought that would be it. Okay. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack! Hmm. Then what happened? Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went over to the plaza. I ditched him and went over to the plaza. What did you do then? I went over to the plaza to do some thinking. It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good thunker! At least my teachers always said I was. A thunker? A thunker, yeah, that's what it said. <laughs> I know, but it was weird. <laughs> Saw Max heading towards the crime. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure! How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? out of your ears! Lawyers nowadays! Your life it's like talking to a brick wall! Max's free piece get up! Jeez, could you be any more dense? All together now! So cool! What it was this? Thank you! Nick, I think you should put a little bit more effort into preparing your questions. <laughs> but I'm a good thunker! <laughs> oh man. That'll probably be your title. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Max and only Max, right, Trilo? That's right! And that makes him the killer! There was only one person headed that way that night! You want mm. me to try? That makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one of the suspicious characters. I mean, sure, you can try if you want. Okay. Because I feel like, um, he also sounds a lot like Mo. That's He's true, Mo. high up. Yeah. So... I wish I wish I could do it a better, but that's always how I, I pictured Trio sounded like. So more to the story than meets the eyes. There's something to miss. No problems. There's no proof it was Max. Ben only saw Max. I think it would be weird that Ben only saw Max. How so? Because, uh, two reasons. One, if he was heading back to the room, he was heading back with the ringmaster. Mm -hmm. Two, if he really did murder said ringmaster and, like, push him out and beat him up, you would have seen both of them at the same time. Okay. That's actually, yeah, what we have to do. Okay. I can't really see anything wrong with what Ben, I mean, Trilo just said. Maybe you should take a step back and look things over again, Nick. The police showed up and took Magic Boy away. <laughs> Wait, but what about- We'll go back, don't worry. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Alright, but you can try the trio okay. voice now. Hmm, I suppose that would have been around- Hey, what time was it? Huh? Um, I think it was around, I'd say a bit after 10.30pm, I think. Practice ended at 10pm, so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? Uh, 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 I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, uh, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big nose dope? Why aren't you telling him anything extra? Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in the weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. Whoa, what? Who said we were waiting for someone? Mr. Phoenix Wright, we can all do without your off-handed theories. But, this witness, he's cracking under the pressure already! I'm on to something! Hmm, Mr. Wright? Who do you suppose the witness was waiting for out in the cold that night? Oh, shoot. I think this actually is what we're supposed to do. Don't want it. Well, I didn't want the to Tama. do that. That's. I'm sorry about that. Don't hold your tongue, Ben! It's your job to answer all the stupid questions! Sorry, Trilo. I've got to find a way to get more information out of this witness. All the stupid questions. Think about it some more, Nick. I'm sure you'll come up with something. Hmm, Trilo wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. 
Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got clonked over the head? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know anymore. Alright, yeah. Wait a second! There's no proof that the witness saw Maximilian Galactica! Hey, hey! You still don't get it, do ya? I saw what I saw! It was Max's three-piece joke of a costume! Alright, let's see it all together now! So cut! Cloak! White roses! Thank you! I think you should study up on your celebrities, Mr. Wright. Great, I'm getting shut down by a toy. T-O-Y, toy! <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna do Trio's voice again. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm giving you a little bit of a yeah. break, though. It, that was nice for the break, thank you. That's a bit strange, don't you think? What strange? That you only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Who else do you suppose this witness could have seen? Alright. This time I'm gonna be really quick to profile, <laughs> so I don't- anyone except for, like, the obvious people. Didn't you- shouldn't you have seen Gumshoe? Could well? you have seen Von Karma? <laughs> do you want to just do yeah. that to mess up? Alright. Stupid question, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's that again. Alright. Well, could have seen Pretty Russell Barry, could have seen Regina, So, so, think, think about the crime, essentially. So, when it was over, Regina stayed in the big top, Max and the Rune Master went off to his room, mm -hmm. Moe and Ben and Trio all went out to the lodging so house. So, Mo? Moe and then, the, and then Ben and then Trio were all going to the lodging house, Moe went into his room, and then Ben and Trio just kind of hung up at the lodging house, then he saw Max go in, but no and that's it, and no one else. Yeah, so the Mr. Ringmaster Pringles So yeah, guy. he should have gone in as well. I'm just well. calling him the Pringles guy. <laughs> he basically is. That's the... victim. That's correct! If Trio was at the entrance to the plaza... He should have seen the Ringmaster as well! Aha! Obviously, the Ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness could have seen him. Anyone with a sense could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The Ringmaster and Max went together to the Ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. If Maximilian Galactico was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room, why was he, just as the witness stated, at the scene of the crime? Ah! I see. It seems that at this stage I have no reason to doubt this witness's testimony. And there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Hmm... Trio wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Oh yeah, we've seen this before. It just cut us to the end of the testimony, that's weird. <laughs> I still like the cross-examination music. I feel like the cross-examination- really sad, but... I feel like ev pretty much every game the cross-examination music gets better. Around what time did the police arrive? Yeah, we've seen this before. That would have been around! At what time was it, man? Yeah, there's a real bit of the Three, four. <laughs> Two, four. <laughs> that would be a huge contradiction. I know. I always, I always forget that they're the same guy, and like Ben is actually like doing screaming. Truth. Yeah, by barely moving his lips. <laughs> hey, have you, did you ever see that America's Got Talent girl uh, do the puppet singing? She was a ventriloquist. No, um, I don't watch America's Got Talent. I don't either. But she I don't was even. Great. I don't watch any country's Got Talent. <laughs> We've all any got country, talent. Any country's Got Talent. I just show. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Where it's like Japan versus. Germany! <laughs> that would be actually be crazy. The Jew Germans have the Oompapa band, and then the Japanese people are like, uh. Versus Scotland! Scotland loses. So Bagpipes Scotland are terrible. Loses. There's more to Scotland than just bagpipes. Like, there's more the to Cubes America. And than, like, there's more to America than just patriotism. Not yeah, really. <laughs> there's also hamburger, and that's about it. There's hamburger. Alright, who, who, who is this guy waiting for? Uh. 
well, if it if it wasn't the, the man, then the man, <laughs> the man, you know, Russell Berry, then was it Mo? He already went with Mo. Was it Miss Little Princess Regina? Yeah, he was probably waiting for that. We can't. Oh my gosh! There we go. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. Oh. I mean, I know he's old. And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. Ah! <laughs> Did his head just fly off? <laughs> he just blew up. <laughs> you were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? That's seriously one of the best damage animations in the series. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Is this true? Well, I, um, you can't really ask me this question. Who cares what I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw! Don't you forget it! Well, 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 the puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Eh? Alright. There is obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover... Even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's really tall. Yeah, he is. That makes perfect sense. What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else other than Max heading to the- OW! There is an absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um... I guess you got me! Alright, alright! I'll spill the beans for real this time! It's true, I was waiting for Regina! PAIN! Don't volunteer things! Mr. Quiss, tell the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lodging house? I was! I was waiting to propose to her! You were what? Waiting to propose? Everyone was like, What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? Yes. <laughs> the, the matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. <laughs> You're the judge! I mean, look at your horrible outfit! Wow. More pain! Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. <laughs> About, About the, the puppet proposal? proposal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. I even had something to give to her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Was it a ring? Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present to her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket! Oh. Okay. You were going to propose. You. A puppet. Don't be so obtuse! Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love! I, I guess you were right. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her, too! Exactly! His honor is looking a little less than honorable right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's really weird. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your examination. <sighs> Aw, did you hear that? His size seems a little wistful. <laughs> All right. Cross-examination about the proposal. Uh, that's going to have to wait till next time, though. Oh. Because I'm... Your voice is killing you? No, not even that. It's just I want to... I know now trial periods are long in this. There, I used to be able to be like, oh yeah, we'll just do a, two videos. For, no, we're going to need three or four for the trial. Okay. So, tune in next time. We still have quite a few more testimonies by Ben. And then okay. we're probably going to be... Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> it won't let me save and quit until I actually start the testimony. So yeah, tune in next time. We'll be cross-examining Ben some more. And who knows? Everyone's flavor clown Paul White might show up. And yeah, yeah, you're right. Those voices are incredibly similar. Whoops. Uh -huh. That's <laughs> why I was like, you sure you want me? You want to do the puppet? Yeah, we <laughs> sure. Okay. Have a great day and God bless everybody.